Okay, so let us begin with this new discussion. With the saturated cycle with the heat exchanger. Ngayon, yung saturated vapor compression natin, alalagyan natin ng heat exchanger. Sir, yung heat exchanger mo, nandito. This is the heat exchanger, okay? Now, you have different points there. Going to your compressor, this is point 1. This is point 2 going to your condenser. <clears throat> this is your evaporator. <clears throat> this is your expansion valve. Okay? This is point 3. Point 4. Uh, point 0.5 this is point 0.6 <clears throat> now yung saturated cycle natin okay magkuha muna tayo ng pH diagram i want this one so in here makita nyo di ba na nagkaroon ka diyan ng superheating and uh, subcooling. Dahil sa, magkakaroon ka dito ng superheating and subcooling dahil sa heat exchanger. Okay? Now, ano po ba yung mga nangyayari dito? Pagbasihan natin si point 1. <coughs> point 1 to 2. Okay? Uh, ano mangyayari dyan? Sa point 1 and 2, meron ka pa rin ditong superheated vapor. Superheated vapor. Where, yung high pressure at 2 mo, mataas. Tapos, meron kang high temperature at 2. Sa point na to. Ngayon, sa point 1, meron kang, <clears throat> yung pressure niya dito, equal lang sa pressure dito, kasi heating to eh. Okay? Sa 1, Yung pressure dito sa 1, mas mababa. Tama? Mabasihan nyo dito. Yung pressure at evaporating is mababa. Ngayon, yung pressure at 1 is equal yan sa pressure at 6. <coughs> Pero, yung temperature kay 1, since nag-heat exchange ka dyan, paiinitin mo. Okay? Yung temperature niya kay 1 is not equal to temperature at 6. But, we can say that temperature ni 1 is greater than temperature ni 6. Okay, tignan yung mga key points, ha? Now, sa condenser, magtatapon ka pa rin ng init dyan. You have a rejected heat there. Nag-record ba? Okay, nag-record. And, makikita nyo, <clears throat> yung pressure kay 2 will be pressure ni 3 and will also be the pressure ni 4. So, ibig sabihin, yung pressure ni 2 will be equal to pressure ni 3 and then pressure ni 4. Kasi, tignan nyo sa graph, wala pa dito si 4 and 6, ha? Ah, 4, 3, and 2. Pero, pakikita ko sa inyo kung nasaan dito si 4, mamaya. Okay? Lalabas dyan. Relax lang kayo. Mali lang na notation. So, dito, constant pressure tong lahat ng ito. Sa 2, 3, and 4. What will happen there? We can say na yung pagpunta ni 3 dito, saturated ano siya. <clears throat> At this point, saturated liquid na yung iyong vapor. Where dito, yung pressure 3 and temperature 3 ay yung temperature ni condenser. Dito yan, kay condenser. Now, sinabi ko dito na yung pressure 2, pressure 3, and pressure 4 are equal. But, hindi equal si T2. T2 is not equal to T3. 
and not equal also to T4. But, we can say that T2 is greater than T3. Where T3 is greater than T4. Okay? Ibig sabihin, ang pinakamataas sa kanila is T2 kasi mas mataas siya kay T3 and T4. T3 is less than T2 but greater than T4. Yun ang ibig ko sabihin dyan. Now, pagpunta mo dito, magkakaroon ka ng throttling process from 4 to 5 where yung temperature ni 5 is definitely equal to temperature ni evaporator or temperature ni 6. Yan. And the condition here is subcooled. Yan. Subcooled na siya dyan. And dito, pupunta ka rito sa 6. This is now a saturated vapor. Dito, superheated vapor. Yan. Where, yung pressure at 6, sinabi ko ba dyan, the pressure at 6 is equal to pressure at 1. And meron ka dito yung temperature ni evaporating. Or temperature 1. Okay? Ay, hindi pala equal yan. Pala equal, nakalagay na dyan, ginawa ko na. Temperature of evaporating. Ayan. Now, dito na rin sa evaporator mo, magdadagdag ka ng heat. Oh, ganun lang po siya. Sir, paano pag green up yan? Okay. Paano natin siya i-graph? Kung ito yung sa saturated cycle, let me draw yung cycle na mas maintindihan nyo. So, we draw a pH diagram. Pagpasensya nyo na, medyo crooked yung akin drawing, but I will try my best. Ayan. Lagyan natin yung saturated line. Okay. That is the saturated line. What happened there? Okay, we have four points. Basihan natin yung four points. Yung one, okay, tignan nyo dito. I-plot natin yung mga saturated vapor. Yung saturated vapor, that is six. Okay? Gawin muna natin ng line. Ano ba magandang line dito? Anong kulay? Hmm. Lagyan natin ng medyo makapal na line. This one. This is the evaporating pressure. And this is the condensing pressure. Yan. P con P evap. I-plot natin si 0.6. Si 0.6 kasi, this is saturated. Okay? That is 0.6. Now, ang pressure natin, sabi dito, at pressure at 1 and 6 is equal. But, T1 is greater than T6. <clears throat> Ibig sabihin, if this is your evaporating temperature, yung line mo will go beyond that. Okay? Kapalan nga natin. Medyo makapal. Yan. Where it will go a superheated vapor sa 1. Okay? Yung 1 is superheated vapor na. Nagkaroon ka ng process of superheating from here up to here. Okay? Iba na yung temperature na ito. If this is the T-EVAP, this is T1. Okay. Now, papunta nung iyong, ano, compressor. Diba? Si 1 to 
Ibig sabihin, you have constant entropy process. Constant entropy process, pero ang pressure niya is, papansin mo, sabi ko dyan, yung pressure ni 1 and pressure ni 2, tama ba? Is not equal. <clears throat> Kasi tumaas na yung pressure niya. Okay, that is condenser na. This is 2. Okay? This is point 1. This is point 2. Now, if that is your point 2, sabi ko dyan, slowly, pagpasok na yung condenser, magiging, ano siya? Pasok na yung, slowly, magiging saturated vapor siya, and then, after that, magiging saturated liquid na siya. Sa saturated liquid, nasaan banda yon? Ayun po, oh, sa point 3. Ibig sabihin, this is now your point 3. Trace natin bawat point, ah. Yan. This is point 3. Where, from here up to here, nagkaroon ka ng superheating. Dito, nagkaroon ka ng sensible cooling. At this point, okay? Ito yung sensible cooling. Ayan. And then from 3, going to 4, ibig sabihin nun, yung 3 and 4 equal ang pressure, nilagay ko dyan. And, ang mangyayari, magkakaroon ka ng constant pressure sub-cooling. Okay, nandito na yung point 4 mo. Nagkaroon ka dito ng sub-cooling. At 3 to 4. Where at 4 to 5, subcooling pa rin. Where? Ibig sabihin dito, constant, ano to? Constant enthalpy or throttling process kasi expansion valve. So, it will fall down constant. Okay? Pumaba ka sa 0.5. Where furtherly at 0.5 at equal pressure and temperature, mangyari is babalik ka sa yung dito sensible cooling, dito latent heat cooling. Kasi magbabago yung phase ng yung refrigerant. Ayan na. So na-trace na natin yung entire process. Okay? Yan na po yung entire process ng ating simple vapor cycle with heat exchanger. Okay? Points 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ngayon, paano natin i-determine? Paano po natin i-determine yung kanila mga enthalpies? What better way for us to understand it is to draw a problem. Okay? What if you are given a condenser temperature of 40 degrees Celsius and uh, the refrigerant is negative 10 degrees Celsius at your evaporator where it has a capacity of a cycle has a capacity of 50 tons. And it is refrigerated using ammonia. Yan. And yung sub natin dito, T sub, sub-cooled temperature is 24, ay hindi, 25 pala ito, 25 degrees Celsius. So, mas maintindihan natin siya kung isosolve natin yung problem. Okay? So, yun lang po yung tamang paggawa nung diagrams niya. And isolve natin siya after a 5-minute break.